guys, it's Friday the 13th. So, this week we're talking about Doctor Who. Um, first of all, I don't understand how you could hate anything Doctor Who related, uh, let alone Rose. Even Martha has her moments. Like most people, David Tennant is my favorite Doctor. Even though Tennant is my favorite Doctor, um, for some reason or another, I find um, Matt Smith's episodes more interesting and I noticed this again with um, Shelby when she was listing her favorite episodes. A lot of them are the Matt Smith ones. I don't know why that is. I think the reason for that is the fact of like the dynamic of who he's traveling with and I'm trying to say this without giving away any spoilers but you know like not the people specifically but like in a broader scale like who he's traveling with that dynamic is you know a lot more interesting than it than the dynamics in the past it's really funny in a way um so i think that's the reason why those episodes personally are preferred for me even though um matt smith isn't my favorite doctor per se it's so hard to pick favorites for me like i I love Rory. I don't understand how anyone could hate him. Um, I also really like Donna and I really like Rose and um, Amy's just fun to look at. I more so was interested and nobody really covered this. Eventually they are going to have to switch to a new doctor and a new companion. You know there's lots of really awesome um, British actors and actresses out there and a lot of people, you know, have already got their sights on who they want. I really, really would love it if um, the girl who played Alicia on Misfits, and I'm not trying not to spoil anything in that aspect, um, but I think that she would be a great uh, companion for, um, it's the other side, <laughs> for the, um, you know, the next step. I wanted Jack to be a part of um, Matt Smith's era of Doctor Who. Imagine Jack interacting with Rory, like how funny would that be? <laughs> um, so that's, you know, that's something that I hope will happen soon. Um, Kira, uh, Torchwood isn't really explained in Doctor Who. I mean, it's mentioned briefly. Um, quite a few times but if you're gonna want like the specifics details as to what is going on there um, I would watch Torchwood and um, I would watch it just for the sake of Jack's love life which is very prominent in um, Torchwood and I'm not gonna give away what happens there but just know that be, be prepared with tissues because you might cry a lot a lot a lot. Well, I'm almost in my second week of school. Um, I'm doing a lot better now, but I feel like I'm gaining a very, very serious coffee uh, addiction where I cannot actually function if I don't go to Starbucks in the morning. I'm doing this um, challenge uh, right now um, that's kind of been set set upon on tumblr um where within this year you watch 500 episodes of various tv shows um you watch 365 movies so that's like one per day and you read 50 books and you have to get this all done by the end of this year so it's probably a stupid idea for me to take on all of that um along with all the other shit that i'm doing but, I don't know, I like a challenge, and um, I feel like I don't read enough, so this, like, enforces me, like, you gotta read at least 50 books, to, books this year, and um, there are a lot of movies out there that, like, I'm supposed to have watched, but I haven't watched, like, Breakfast in Tiffany's, um, so I feel like the one movie a day for an entire year is really 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 kicking me in the ass to like um become more culturally aware of what's going on besides my little bubble um 
and 500 TV shows a year is like nothing for me. I'm like, it's like two a day. Come on, I can do that. No problem. Uh, that's all that's really new with me. Um, I will see you guys next week. Bye.